Hello friends, welcome to another video. Today's review is Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros. Or I'm slipping out of the cover here. Love the cover on this one, the gold and the map and the dragons and the cat in the middle of the screen. Yeah, trouble. This one, I love that they've got the map of the world in the front cover which is awesome of the continent that they're in very very nice books with maps are the best and they also have a little map as soon as i get to it of um the basque basque war college which is the main where their book mostly takes place mostly takes place in a war college obviously yes this book does have dragons i know i say little thing i do for fun if a book has dragons or not because the book is about dragon riders so i will read the little blurb for you um yeah 20 year old violet sorengale was supposed to enter the scri scribe quadrant living a quiet life among books and history. Now, the commanding general, also known as her toughest talon's mother, has ordered Violet to join the hundreds of candidates striving to become the elite of Navarre, Navarre dragon riders. But when you're smaller than everyone else and your body is brittle, death is only a heartbeat away because dragons don't bond to fragile humans. They incinerate them. With fewer dragons willing to bond than cadets, most would kill Violet to better their own chances of success. The rest would kill her just for being her mother's daughter. Like Zayden Ryerson, the most powerful and ruthless wing leader in the Ryder's Quadrant. She'll need every edge her wits can give her just to see the next sunrise. Yet with every day that passes, the war outside grows more deadly. The kingdom's protective wards are failing and the death toll continues to rise. Even worse, Violet begins to suspect leadership is hiding a terrible secret. And everyone at Bag Basgate War College has an agenda because once you enter, there are only two ways out, graduate or die. So this book is obviously about Violet and her going through uh, the school to become a dragon rider. That, I don't know where you got that, but you can't play with that. Uh, the main character is obviously Violet, and she ha her mother is the general, and she has a sister named Mira, uh, who's older than her, already graduated from flight school, and an older brother who's, who is the oldest, and his name is Brennan. Um, he has already passed away in these books. Then we have Zayden Ryerson. He is the oldest kids of the rebels so there was a rebel war and they killed all the adults and they marked all of the kids of the rebels and they made them all join to be um, dragon riders to show loyalty or also possibility to weed them out because becoming a dragon rider is one of the hardest things there are a lot of deaths in this book um, yeah, a lot of deaths. We also have uh, Dane Atos, who is uh, one of Violet's best friends from childhood. He's a year older than her, so he's already in the school. And they're friends because his father, Colonel Atos, is her mom's like right-hand man. Like They traveled everywhere together as kids, and as military families do. She meets some other riders who are all in her, her wing together because there's the squadrons and then the wings. That's why the book is called Fourth Wing because they are in the fourth wing for the military of the dragon riders. So she meets Rhiannon and Riddock, 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 Liam, just, oh, uh, Nadine, Garrick, and Imogen are the more important ones that I can think of off the top of my head. Jessen, Jessenia is one of the scribes who is a good friend of hers from before when she was trained to be a scribe. And the two 
main dragon, Zayden's dragon, is Sigale, and Violet's dragon is Tarn. I know that's kind of a spoiler, but if you didn't realize she'd become a dragon rider, seriously, it's pretty obvious. Like the book follows, the book follows the main plot that most adventure fantasy romances do, where there's a challenge and there's the, the the close friend the enemy enemies there obviously this is enemies to lovers i'm trying to think of how it works where there's like the conflict and you think you're on the one side when and then you find out there's a whole other side going on and you're not sure which side you should be on and yeah i find like that's a lot in a lot of the fantasy books like that's a normal concept I don't know if I explained that right that sounded messed up anyway it is um, enemies to lovers there is betrayal in the book there is uh, twists thrown in it is spicy there is spice just so you know 18 plus it's slow burn Levi get your face out of the plant I'm sure some of you watch my videos specifically for the cat antics. Yeah? You see him sitting on the shelf there behind me, being a butthead. Butthead. Anyway, uh, the whole thing is written in first person from Violet's point of view. And then I think there's a chapter at the end that is from Ryerson's point of view, from Zayden's point of view. Yeah, but they're all first person. I'm not, uh, yeah, I think it's just those those two main characters that they do the first person and whatnot. Uh, parts of the book were pretty predictable. Um, like I said, like most fantasy books follow a specific kind of storyline in general. So it follows that main storyline, but of course there are twists, there are things that are different, or people wouldn't still be reading the books if they were all the same. You can see the growth and change in characters, like Violet has a lot of growth and change. Part of it is predictable, like of course she starts off, she's very weak, she has weak joints, she's thrown into one of the hardest things out there because her mother's like all of the, all of the Sorengales are dragon riders. I don't care that you're weak, you're going to be a dragon rider, you're not going to be an embarrassment to the family. Her father was a scribe, by the way. Um, he has also passed away. So, yeah, she toughs it out. Uh, Levi! Come on, give it up. He's on top of the bookshelf, being by head. Anyway, yeah, where was I? Toughing it out to be a dragon rider. Of course you know she's going to prove herself and change and grow and find out stuff about herself that she didn't know because that's how it works. Give it up. Come down here. Come on. Yeah. Trouble in a fur coat. They are only kittens. He looks like a full grown cat, but they are, they are not even a year old yet. Where was I going? Right. Definitely some twists thrown in, surprises at the end. Um, like I said, it is a fantasy. There is enemies to lovers. There is fighting. There is challenges. There's slow burn. Give it up. Yeah, come here. <sighs> Just sit in the window and be good. I'm worried he's going to knock something off up there because we are moving and things are a little bit of a mess right now. That's uh, how it is. Emotionally, this book was all over the place. There are happy moments. There are shocking moments. There are sad moments. I literally cried real tears for one of the deaths. Um, so it's kind of a spoiler that you know one of the semi-main characters. <sighs> dies but still yeah definitely emotional um compares to Sarah J Maas, Jennifer L. Armentrout that general 
vicinity of like the epic oh J.R. Ward that type of epic fantasy romance with great detail great plot does leave you on a bit of a cliffhanger but like not crazy cliffhanger like you're not totally worried about what's going to happen but there is a shock at the end and you got to get the next book to find out what happens next I would give it a total 5 out of 5 star rating. It totally lived up to the hype that I was expecting it to. Because re I'm reading it late in the... Uh, I guess book came out. The second book is already out. Uh, exceeded my expectations. Great writing. Great style. Plot was engaging. Amazing characters that you feel so real. I don't know how people do it when they write these characters and there's so many different ones and you can feel the different personalities of them all. It's just amazing. It's, yeah, definitely a page turner. I think I read it in like five days. It's not exactly a thin book and that's with working a full time job. Uh, yeah, must own. Glad I own it. Couldn't put it down. Did I even stamp it? I can't stamp it because my stamp is packed. So my page embosser is packed. I will be embossing it at, a, at another time when I unpack the embosser. I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, please like and subscribe and stay tuned up with the link for the um, second book when I have it finished. It might be a little bit longer in between videos because we are moving but hopefully not too much longer. Um, have a wonderful day, and I will see you all in the next video.